Hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, how he's all doing out there and uh, YouTube man or whatever it is I'm at, you know. But do couldn't try my what's called here at uh, doing like a show. I guess like a you know like Stephen Colbert or one of those guys doing a show like that. I got my got coffee this morning here. It's uh, like eight after eight or something. On uh, July 29th, 2022. Yeah, so I just have a, uh, you know, a couple, I guess I'll do my monologue. And, um, you know, stuff I've been thinking about, you know, like, uh, have, have, you know, all the ghost videos and whatnot. And you have them on uh, all over YouTube, you know, so nobody's watching this video because they're watching the ghost videos you know, spooky. now like i would always say at work you know like uh, you know ghosts come in here you know something falls down and there's no reason for it to fall I'm like the goddamn ghost you know they can move shit with their minds and all why ain't they helping us put grab a skit put it the fuck out you know and shit like that you know i mean it would make sense you don't have to pay them they don't need to eat or nothing they're just hanging out doing nothing but being weird so put them to work Put the, put the ghost to work. No. Um, there you go. That solves that problem. Yeah. Yeah, and also, like, I see a lot of YouTube videos about time travelers and does time travel exist and whatnot. And uh, my take on that is, uh, yeah, well, you're not going to know one way or the other if time travel exists. There's got to be codes and all that. I guess people don't practically think that way. Um, there's going to be codes and, you know, you know, I don't mean like cheat codes or not. I mean, like, rules. Um, the way they conduct themselves. They, you know, they can't just, you know, run around. I'm a time traveler, I'm a time traveler. That's probably how you know they're fake. You know, they're full of crap. You know, I see the videos on, um, I forget what it's on. I see them on YouTube, but there's another platform that strictly does them or something. And it's it's kind of weird. Like you had that guy that's um, trapped in a parallel, like 2028 is 2022 or 2021 or whatever the hell it is. You know, it's like, it's all part of the same year. He's walking around and all. No, he's just got very good editing software. That's all. I want that in software. I can make some crazy stuff with that. Um, yeah, I'm still learning all this stuff and all, but not now. It's turning into, uh, it's supposed to be a monologue, yeah. Uh, I'll get the hang of how a monologue actually puts the word. Come out, do a couple quips, you know, like, uh, well, President Trump uh, couldn't fold an umbrella. <laughs> Or something like that you know <laughs> all right um yeah well it's got to stop with him that guy needs to go into jail you know i know some people out there may disagree you know but hey look if you live based in reality you agree with me this guy's got to go to jail because the next guy that comes if he gets away with everything the next guy to come along is going to do something bad yeah, well, he did his bad, but they're going to bad. You know, it's going to be like, what? You know, and that's a, a scary concept. I guess this is the being real part of the uh, monologue. You know, um, what else can I say about um, not in the news, you know, like, uh, Arguing with a woman, you know, bring up the past, but if you do it to them, oh my god, you started the apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> what? So anyway, yeah. Uh, Alright. Um, today, you know, so we're going to take uh, phone calls uh, from people out there on the random issues, I guess. And uh, Yeah, well, they're not going to be real phone calls. I'm going to be both sides of the conversation found some uh, cool ways to do that uh, see how it works what it looks like um, so I think it's gonna be funny 
I'll know how funny it is when I'm doing it and how much I crack up and it takes me longer to do. Alright, but, you know, um, after this video, I'm going to pause this and um, then I'm going to do that. So, uh, like and subscribe if um, the content makes you laugh. Alright, well, here go the phone calls. Yep, just a couple other announcements I wanted to make. Uh, Grand Theft Auto started their, uh, new, here somewhere, uh, their, um, enterprising something or others, or whatever the hell it was. Uh, I should have had this ready by the time I got on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, there, I, 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 I was, I was <laughs> right in front of me, and I'm looking for it. Yeah, all right, yeah. So, so it's um, those of you that play GTA Online, they've uh, launched a Criminal Enterprises DLC. Criminal Enterprises, that's what I was trying to think of, and I had it written down in front of me. And but, uh, or, or, he loses head if it wasn't attached. Yeah, all right, whatever. Anyway, now I'm making fun of myself on the video. Yeah, all right. Uh, it was uh, Tuesday, July 26th, 2022, all right. I played most of it already, and uh, I don't know if there's anybody who plays games watching it, but it was uh, fairly decent, you know. Um, did the uh, missions with the IAA guy, and you do some of them were pretty crazy, and I wasn't I was on the like mediocre one, so I'm gonna try them again on the on the hard one, see if, how much of a difference there is on it. I know it's going to be, the dip, one difference is it gives you more cash. More oh yeah. Alright, and, um, what was the other one? Um, I researched this story. It was a woman's rowing team. Hang on, I got to tell you this one. Because I thought this was pretty cool. Um, is that right there? No. It's those things. Yeah, I write notes, you know. Not that I have a bad memory or anything. It's just, you know, forget stuff. Like, I have it in front of me. Yeah, I didn't make a note to tell me that it's in front of you. Ah. And then I forgot it was in front of me. Alright, so before we get to the phone calls, I'll read this thing here. It was, um, four female rowers made, rowers, you know, in the boats, uh, made history this morning. Obviously not this morning. This was uh, a couple days ago when they arrived in Hawaii after rowing for more than 2,400 nautical miles. More than 2,400 nautical miles. That's insane, right? I want want to meet these women in Dark Alley. They beat you. Well, plus they'd have oars with them, so yeah, you're in a lot of trouble then. <laughs> well, uh, so anyway, not to diminish their which quote from California to Hawaii they rowed. They rode a boat. I keep saying road. R sounds like road. That's weird. All right, so they um, sailed the boat. No, well they're not sailing. They're using the oars and all. All right, well you got the gist of it. Um, so they started in San Francisco in June, arriving 34 days, 14 hours, and 11 minutes later. That's a long time to be in a rowboat uh, running around. So, you know, I mean, that's a world record. But, hey, they got it. And it's four women did it. Bye. So, yeah, there was no real point to that. I just thought it was cool. So, I shared it, and now it's done. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to uh, take phone calls from people. Oh, man, I just messed everything up. All right. Okay, find all this stuff again. Yeah. All right, so I'll just keep talking about craziness, and uh, you know, earlier I said about the time travelers. I'm taking the phone calls now and whatnot. And uh, there's that one. I just gotta find the other one. <sighs> Yeah, I should be a little more prepared like this. I gotta get better books. Have the pages 
point out in front of me or you know get loose get get binder paper huh yeah yeah any tips you got give them to me you know maybe better than some of the ideas that i'm using yeah yeah rubber 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 so um yep so how about that crazy weather huh <laughs> Yeah, that was something there. It was an angry dog wearing clothes. Oh, you can put clothes on a dog. No wonder it's pissed off. It was a story I was going to do a bit on and uh, decided not to do that one. And whatnot. take our first caller and that is uh, Jill hey, Jill you're live on uh, welcome to the show what's your question where is YouTube land um, hmm. it's just something I say, you know, um, to greet the people out there and whatnot. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Yes, everywhere. What? what are, you, are you with the government time travelers? Huh? You one of them freaky beatniks? Um, what are you talking about? I don't like weirdos. Okay. Um, maybe this phone thing is not a good idea. Um, a lot of hostility and anger in that call. And um, hmm. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Run the gambit. Might as well take another call. Uh, got uh, Fred. Fred, welcome to the show. You're on. What's your question? <laughs> you have a ghost at your work? Um, actually, no. Just saying, if we did, I'd put them to work. Why do you want to be haunted, man? Uh, I don't. Disrespect ghosts, man. There's consequences. Well, I wasn't trying to. I'm just, you know, it was making a joke. You think it's funny and easy being a ghost? Well, I never thought about it like that. the problem with jerks like you. I'm out. Okay. Alright. I'll guess pick my poison and go with one final call and we got uh, Lorraine. Welcome to the show. What's your question? Hello. First time caller. Been listening for a while now. Okay. 
Well, thanks for listening, Lorraine. Uh, but do you have a question? Yes, actually, I do. Why don't squirrels get electrocuted on the phone wires? Mm, seriously, I don't know. Well, if you have a guess, uh, why would you think it happens? Because it freaks me out. Um, the wires are insulated and they have uh, claws, I guess. I don't know. Uninsulate them. Um, yeah, <laughs> somehow I do not think that's a good idea. Okay, thanks for the advice. Okay, definitely not taking any more calls now. All right, I think I just got squirrels killed. Wow, and that's all my conscience now. Thank you, Lorraine. Um, I guess that'll conclude this video, you know. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. If you thought any of the content was funny, hopefully I'll get better equipment and be able to make it look even more realistic. See you next time.